Hello everyone, welcome to another special edition of Nile Cruise brought to you from Nile TV and I'm joined today with Kareem Gamal al-Din. Hello Kareem. Hello uh, Sharif, uh, we're in a very uh, special uh, location bringing our dear viewers this uh, very special episode of Nile Cruise from uh, Sultan uh, Hassan uh, Mosque uh, which is a massive uh, Mamluk era mosque uh, and madrasa uh, located uh, near the citadel in Cairo and it was uh, constructed and this construction began uh, in seven 57 and um, it's uh, a very uh, magnificent and exhilarating place we're here right now. Yeah, exactly, I agree with you. This is an amazing place uh, for my for me it's the first time to visit Sultan Hassan uh, school or mosque. Uh, it's definitely a wonderful site uh, to visit if you're interested and uh, definitely the the uh, the school aspect comes from the different types of schools that was uh, actually thought here uh, within this mosque which includes uh, the Shafi'i, Maliki and Hanafi and also Hanbali uh, and uh, definitely will be uh, talking a lot about yes. this mosque and this special place. And, and indeed, uh, Sharif, this episode has a very, very special uh, taste as it, uh, we're, uh, we're airing it uh, in Ramadan. And uh, from this yes. uh, mosque, uh, it, it's, it definitely will have a very uh, special taste. Uh, dear viewers, a quick break, and we'll be right back to resume the segments of Nile Cruise on Nile TV International. Stay tuned. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi met on Wednesday with the Minister of Irrigation and Water Resources, Hossein Mughazi, and the Minister of Agriculture and Land Reclamation, Salah Hilal. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Ali Youssef said the meeting covered ongoing cooperation between the two ministries in order to provide required water to irrigate the newly reclaimed lands as well as to establish new urban communities. Youssef said the Minister of Agriculture highlighted the use of the latest technology, including solar energy and land reclamation, while the Minister of Irrigation briefed the President on efforts exerted to improve the quality of potable as well as irrigation water. Ongoing cooperation with the African countries in the fields of agriculture and irrigation were also the subject of the presidential meeting. Meanwhile, the Cabinet convened its weekly meeting on Wednesday to cover the economic security as well as draft laws. Prime Minister Ibrahim Mahlab stressed during the meeting the importance of providing necessary commodities during the holy fasting month of Ramadan. Mahlab and his Cabinet have approved several draft laws, including an amendment to the prisons law, the pension law and industrial facilities licensing law. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi received French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius in Cairo on Saturday and held a meeting that was also attended by Foreign Minister Sameh Shoukri as well as the French Ambassador to Egypt André Baran and head of the North African and Middle East Department Ambassador Jean-Francois Giraud. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Ali Youssef said the talks centered on the Middle East peace process, the developments in Libya and Syria, the terrorism file and the illegal migration, as well as the Iranian nuclear negotiations and the climate change files. He said President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi welcomed France's efforts in reviving the story East negotiations and asserted in the importance of coordination to form a vision to the basis for the resumption of the peace talks that would find consensus among all involved parties. He said that the aim was to reach an all-out settlement that guarantees the initiation of a Palestinian state on the borders of 1967 with East Jerusalem as the capital according to the Arab Peace Initiative. Egypt opens the Rafah border crossing with the Palestinian Gaza Strip from Tuesday till Thursday, allowing the delivery of cement supplies into the badly destroyed territory. The crossing opens in both directions to allow stranded people, students and humanitarian aid to pass. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi instructed the opening of the crossing so as to alleviate the suffering of Palestinians in the holy month of Ramadan. Egypt has now opened the crossing three times during the last month making officials in Gaza hopeful that Cairo might ease restrictions on movement to and from the coastal enclave. Until last year, Palestinians were able to leave via Rafah, but since October, the frontier has been closed to confront terror operations via Gaza. Egypt's Foreign Ministry spokesman Badr Abdel Ati said on Tuesday, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry will visit Cairo for talks with Egyptian officials on July 28 and 29. Abdel Ati described next month's talks as a strategic dialogue. A U.S. State Department official said that the last U.S.-Egypt strategic dialogue took place in December 2009. 
In late March, U.S. President Barack Obama lifted a hold on a supply of arms to Cairo, authorizing deliveries of U.S. weapons valued at over 1.3 billion U.S. dollars. On Monday, the U.S. Embassy in Cairo said the U.S. had delivered two Navy vessel 